on the line both championships jcw heavyweight championship and the extreme championship that's a lot that's a lot of gold that is a lot of gold brandon lewis that's a lot to that's a big load to carry for the man who wins this match you think about other great champion versus champion matches you go immediately to hulk hogan and the ultimate warrior this is a battle that has been brewing for months here in jersey championship wrestling since Joey Janela was viciously attacked and Steve Scott was viciously attacked by Team Pazuzu. And here we go, bell is rung, champion versus champion, big right hand, and the champion of JCW is in control. Yeah, Joey Janela's been wanting to get it, EYFBO, he's been wanting to get it, Pinky Sanchez, he wants all of Pazuzu, mainly Dickinson, but uh, if he can take anyone apart right now, he's going after El Presidente. That is true, big back elbow and down goes Janela, trying to go for a quick cover, one, only one on Sanchez. And I'm Sa surprised he went for the cover so quick. I didn't know I didn't know winning the gold was more important than anything else on his mind. It's about defeating Team Pazuzu in any way possible. And look at Janela just drive that feet into the midsection of Carlos Pinky Sanchez. Well, that's what I want to see out of him. That, that's what I want to see. I want to see a fight. All of this has been brewing for a long time. Double stop to the outside. And Janela. A little worse for where is the extreme champion is in control. Well, as long as this happens outside, then this is going to be Pinky Sanchez's match. As long as it's inside, though, then I would keep it with Janela. Janela once again in control, but you have to look back at our last show in Hasbrook. Height stiff chop where Janela went through tables, ladders, chairs, and even a door due to Team Pazuzu in his victory over Devin Storm to retain that JCW title. You're absolutely right. However, he's not the extreme champion. Maybe he will after today, but he's not the extreme champion. Also, if I may add, who wasn't at the event last time? I'll answer that for you. Pinky Sanchez. And it looks He's like Pinky Sanchez is looking to leave this event too, because he has walked over to the entrance way. Right? And Janela flying through the air, taking down Carlos Sanchez. My goodness. Oh, he wants Pazuzu bad. He wants Pazuzu badly. That's why he put his JCW title up on the line against Sanchez. And the crowd gets a little taste of Carlos Sanchez. And I'm sure they'd like to take Steve Scott's championship away from Pinky Sanchez. That's right. That's one of the things Steve Scott had to give up the title due to injury. We wish him the best in his re continued recuperation. And a big springboard elbow drop onto the spine of Sanchez. That could immobilize him. He could be all here. One, two, kick out at two. And Sanchez finds a way to kick out. Well, finds a way. I mean, he's a champion. Uh, it's not going to be easy to put him down. He's almost like, and this is a compliment, he's like a roach. You know, they don't die. Neither does Pinky Sanchez. That is true. Pinky Sanchez can survive a nuclear explosion and still be the champion. Big tornado DDT. And it looks like Sanchez is invigorated. Looks like one, two, kick out at two. Hell yeah, he's invigorated. Pinky Sanchez, the sexual spider monkey. Carlos, call him whatever you want, but he is a champion whether you like him or not. And he might be a dual champion at the end of this match. 
lot of people out there want to see Joey Janela not only retain but become JCW Extreme Champion. Big forearms by Sanchez. Great move there. And Janela sits him out. This could be all. Cooks leg one, two, kick out at two, and somehow, some way, Sanchez keeps fighting. The power of Pazuzu's in him now, but it looks like Joey Janela may be dropping a big moonsault. Gets out of the way. Tried to do a moonsault. Whoa, 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 whoa! He's oh, just that. grabbing his leg. He might have injured his knee there. Oh! And now Sanchez going to work like a vulture, like a scavenger, picking at the bones of Janela. Hooks leg one. Two, the champion kicks out. Oh man, yeah, there's blood in the water and he knows it, he smells it, and he's gonna feast tonight. Pinky Sanchez, he's violent. And I dig that about him, it's his, it's his best quality. Try to go for a spinning toe hold or a figure four leg lock reversal. Janela one, two, could have had a double champion, but Sanchez kicks out. But here comes Sanchez and takes out the knee again of Janela. Yep, see the target's right there. There's a bullseye, and it's a big bullseye, and he's aiming right for it. A lot of people wonder why they call moves off the top rope high-risk maneuvers. You're seeing it right here. Janela's knee almost destroyed there. Grabs the hair, snap mirror takeover. Going for a stiff, oh no, walks, oh, come oh. on. Disrespectful, hooks the leg, one, two. Kick out by Janela. That's like a headbutt in reverse. You like that, you, 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 are you glad you thought of that? Yeah. But I didn't think, but he did. He's a, he, he's a genius in that ring. He can actually wrestle. He's not just a fighter. He isn't, but he is from the rotten apple, as he said. Janela with a chop. A stiff kick by Sanchez as a receipt. Stiff chop by Janela. One more chop by Sanchez. Chop by Janela. We have an exchange here. We're cutting meat in Manville. Went for the eyes, and it might have been smart because he was standing on spaghetti legs. That's right, and now standing on the throat of Joey Janela. Janela now trying to find a way to get back into this match. Sanchez needs to take his eyes off the fans and onto Janela to win this championship. Janela, if he wants to win, he has to make sure that this is about retaining the championship and winning a new one and getting all the personal ties out of this match. I think it's hard for Janela. Bam, it's carrying a big, big Death Valley driver onto the spine. That's on the roughest part of the ring. That's right onto the metal and the steel and the wood of the frame in its ring. And it doesn't help that right after he lands, he rolls and lands on the cold floor of this arena. That's right, that is not a cushion floor. There's no carpet, and look at Chaka, the nasty savage, laying the boots in while Jimmy Storm's distracted by Sanchez. Storm has to know that Pazuzu's gonna keep playing tricks like this, and he's gotta make sure that this doesn't happen in the finals of the tournament. And Sanchez, standing solo in the ring now is Janela, trying to get back in. Yep. As long as Jock is on the outside, the savage superstar, you know, it's going to be a two-on-one. We've already seen him factor into EYFBO's tag team matches today. And you know what? He's not competing tonight, but he should get a share of the winner's purse kick out at two. If EYFBO or Sanchez win. Grabbing the hair now, continues sign of disrespect. Janela must be seething inside. Irish whip into the buckle. Here comes Sanchez up over. Janela, oh, and he lands on that bad knee again. You know, you gotta change your tactics. If you don't, you'll get caught by more moves like that. Kick out at two after the knee by Sanchez. Gotta change your tactics. I know that's hard to do, you know, when you base so much of your arsenal uh, on your leg work and your movement, your mobility. He's gonna have to change that strategy, Matt. That is true, Brandon, and Jaka just said, take him to flare country. We might be seeing the figure four, which plays into a big part of Sanchez's offense, especially in this contest. And it's instinct, Brandon, that got Janela to injure that knee because he was just going off of muscle memory. And speaking of muscle memory, that figure four is locked in right in the middle of the ring. We might be seeing a new champion. It's like I was saying earlier, we don't know what damage Joey Janela's been holding from that TLC match. Devin Storm has a torn tricep. Who knows what lingering injuries Joey Janela's holding. Especially when he went through that door because of Team Pazuzu. The figure four expertly applied and look at Jaka using the leverage and Jimmy Storm finally stepping in. Oh, and Jaka getting what he deserves, finally tossed out of here. Hey, I don't hey. know why he was out here in the first place. He was entertaining the people. No, he was not. He was acting as a distraction and reversal by Janela. That distraction there worked for him and that's a reverse figure 
before it shifts the pain in the legs, but Sanchez reverses it, and we go back to where we started. You know, that is a very painful move. I'm surprised he's been able to hold on as long as he can. Janela trying to fight out of it. The reason why he stays is because he's a champion. Big headbutt by Sanchez. Headbutt by Janela. This is the sign of a champion fighting through. Driving. I believe he's driving him into the knees. I'm not sure who that hurts more. But Janela's the one up, so I'll say that hurts Pinky more. The champion now, the JCW champion, Joey Janela, on, on one leg. All right, this does not look smart. Crowd. Matt, this does not look smart. Why is he climbing the top again? Up, no! Twisting body press does not work. Found an empty pool. Sanchez at the last second moved out of the way, and Dad had to do more damage to the knee. Joey Janela, incredibly talented, but I have to say he might have more guts than he does brains. That's the risk you take in being JCW champion, not only to defend that title, you gotta do everything within your power to ensure that you hold on to it for another day. Boot to the face by Sanchez. Hey, can you imagine JCW champion Pinky Sanchez? I shudder at that thought, Brandon. I shudder at that thought because that would give Team Pazuzu more power. And that's something they surely do not need, especially if they win the tag tournament tonight. I guess a B squad, big backdrop by Sanchez. And this one could be all looks like one, two, Kick out by the champion. I can, I can see it happening. I mean, was it Chris Dickinson, the JCW Cup winner? Yes, he won the Jersey J Cup in 2014 oh in the singles God. division. Yeah, and, and, then, and then Pinky Sanchez wins the Extreme Championship. I can see this being all Pazuzu all night. You know what, the roads point towards Pazuzu, but listen to this crowd. They don't want to see Pinky Sanchez become champion. Sure they do, they just don't know they want it. Sell, you would try to sell anyone everything. Sanchez on the top rope, but here comes Janela right across the face of Sanchez, and the champion has to take control here. Listen to this crowd in Manville, New Jersey. Oh man, what's the bad boy thinking? Superplex in a tippy top? He's got to watch out for that knee. Could be going for a superplex here. Sanchez trying to fight out of it. Drops down, jockeying for position. Sanchez could be going for a double stomp here. Janela's got to get out of the way. Double stomp! That could break a rib. Cover one, two, kick out a two, and the champion will not give up. Oh, man, this is a fight and an incredible match between two champions. That's right, the JCW Extreme Champion on the top rope now. Could be going for a big move. Double stop, and he caught him right on the jaw. Go for the pin. There it is. One. New champion. New champion. Took it too lightly. Sanchez took him too lightly. And if you go into a match against Joey Janela and you don't hook the leg, you don't do everything within your power to make sure he doesn't get up in a three count, you're in trouble. You're absolutely correct about that. You know, Pinky's not a rookie. He's not a green ho greenhorn. He should have known better. That's the hubris of Team Pazuzu brand. And Sanchez now incensed more than ever. Glowering and stalking Janela, the champion, the JCW champion, against the JCW Extreme champion. The Extreme champion in control. Picks him up to the top rope. Maybe trying to go for him, maybe a knee. Goes up, drop kick. Oh. Janela staying on the top turnbuckle, and Sanchez. Oh, yeah. So that little shimmy there. I saw that, eerily reminiscent of Angel Ortiz and his hip swivel. They love rubbing it in people's faces when they're in control. <laughs> he loves rubbing it in people's faces, all right. Can you be an adult for just five seconds? Just for five seconds. Janela now in control. Forearm, Sanchez goes down. Here comes the Chiefs, he's gonna be champion. Frog splash, hooks the leg, one, two. Almost had a new extreme champion. You see the height Joey Janela got? I can't believe he was able to do that with the busted wheel. It was the adrenaline kicking in. It was the need to beat Team Pazuzu as this crowd in Manville gets behind the JCW champion. Both men down. Joey Janela, one of the most talented people I've ever seen in a ring, and he looks like he might be going for the gusto. He might be going for that. Oh, both men! But here to double close on it, both men go down. Both men had the same thought in mind. Had to believe there's a desperation maneuver on the side of Pinky Sanchez. It was a move of preservation, but both men now in danger of having this match become a draw. Both, both of them or one of them has to answer the referee's 10 count as the crowd here in Manville, New Jersey cheers on.
Joey Janela, Sanchez. To his knees first, followed by Janela. Both men slowly creeping up. Janela first with the right hand. Sanchez. Oh. Uh oh, that might have kicked something. Oh, Janela looks at him. Big right forearm. Oh, this is what I like to see, Matt. And the fans here are enjoying it too. Big forearm by Sanchez. One more by Janela. We're trading off here. This is for all the marbles. The extreme title, the JCW title, and a European uppercut by Sanchez. One more by the bad boy. Asbury Park's finest going against the man from the Rotten Apple. Big backdrop! That could do it. If that only he could make it to, to a cover. He's got to capitalize. He's got to get over to Sanchez. He's got, he could have gone for the pin there, but he looks like he's going to try to finish him off. Another backdrop. No, sits him back. Spin out, powerbomb. One, two, kick out by the extreme champion. My goodness. Both of these men so full of fire. Both men unwilling to yield to one another. Janela wanting to bring down Pazuzu. Pinky Sanchez wanting to rise to more power. He calls himself the El Presidente. The dead here comes Jocko. Oh, and a big cross body takes out the nasty savage. Janela getting up. He's back up. He's feeling it. The crowd has his back. But Pinky Sanchez is slow to get. Oh! oh! I stand corrected, playing a bit of possum. This could be it. Reverse torture rack position. Drops him down right on the head. That could be all kind of one, two, kick out at two. Janela will not yield to Sanchez for what he's done to Steve Scott and others. We've seen the kind of punishment that he's been able to take, whether it be in that grudge match, triple threat match last month. And Jaka br bringing a chair, tossing it to Sanchez. I didn't even notice until so you pointed that out, but now the chair's in the ring. Sanchez threatening referee Jimmy Storm. Sanchez, oh, referee Jimmy Storm taking the chair out of his hands. Wait a second. He's trying to make sure that we all got to see what we wanted. And Jaka ruining Janela's opportunity to become a double champion, but the champion fighting back. Right hand by Janela. One more right hand. One more. And laying it in on the nasty savage Jaka, the JCW champion now. Big Benny close eye, discus close eye, and Jaka, the nasty savage, is out like a light. Oh my goodness. Joey Janela showing where the power lies. And it looks like we might be calling Teterboro because here comes Eric Janela, yes sir! <laughs> this match is thrown out, but I don't think Janela is done with Team Pazuzu. Not by a long shot, Matt. And I look forward to seeing more. Right away, the player for Christian, and still, JCW Heavyweight Champion, Joey Janelle.